Some Ohio lawmakers want to overhaul the state's <clears throat> excuse me, college education system. Reporter Madeline Otterley joining us now in studio with some of the big changes included in this new bill. Madeline? Among other things, Senate Bill 83 would ban mandatory diversity training. It would also ask students to evaluate teachers on whether they keep their classrooms free of bias. This is also a bit of a course correction. I think some of our institutions of higher education uh, have, have gone off on a little bit of a tangent here uh, and begun to focus on what I would call social engineering as opposed to solid education of our students. That's why State Senator Jerry Serino put Senate Bill 83 forward. Among other things, it aims to cut bias out of the classroom. This is about not taking particular sides politically or socially or even culturally. It's about exposing our students to varieties of thoughts. Opponents fear the opposite effect. Teresa Colbaga teaches at Miami. My biggest concern is that it is legislating and limiting what can be taught in college classroom. She worries it'll make it harder for universities to bring in students and staff. I believe that education is one of the most important things that we can do for our economy in Ohio. And um, anything that hurts that mission hurts Ohio's economy. The bill also requires syllabuses be posted publicly online. The biggest effect in the classroom, I think, would be this notion that everything is subject to being challenged. It's only one piece of the puzzle. As we've seen this debate play out in other states, it's generally played out one piece at a time. This is everything in one bill. Another controversial component, the bill would prevent public employees on college campuses from going on strike. We'll have more on that coming up tonight at 6. Tanya.